What's up, Lions? Happy Blue and Gold Friday. Today is Friday, May 12th, and this week was a busy one here at GHS. We are only one week away from this year's prom. The last of our AP classes finished up their AP exams. We celebrated Teacher Appreciation Week, National School Nurses Day, and the Chris Cunell Day of Kindness. On top of all of that, we closed out another week of the school year, leaving us with only 20 days left of school. With all that being said, let's get to your Lions news. What's up, Lions? Check it out, we're back. And as you all know, this week we're celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week. So in honor of that, we decided to bring you some interesting facts from your teachers right here at GHS. Elgorms, did you know that according to Mr. Lifstead, Gloucester City was a part-time home of the Philadelphia Athletics baseball team from 1888 to 1890. They played all of their games during those seasons on Sunday night right here in Gloucester to avoid blue laws in Philadelphia. That's wild, but did you know that Mr. McWilliams went to school with NBA champion coach Frank Vogel? Vogel grew up with Mr. McWilliams in Wildwood, New Jersey. He would end up being one of the lucky people to coach an NBA championship winning team. Yo, that's crazy, but did you know according to Mr. Pat Hagen, someone's identity is stolen every 79 seconds in the USA. So if someone calls you and asks for your social security number, don't give it to them. Tell him to call Mr. Hagen. He will certainly know what to tell them. Yeah, you know that's right. Anywho, according to Mr. P, since it first charted in June 2004, the killer song, Mr. Brightside, spent 333 weeks on the UK Top 100 list, which sets a record that still stands till this day. All right, Lion, it's going to do it for this installment. Be sure to give your favorite teachers a high five. Make it a great weekend. And go go Lions! Lions. All of us here at the LPNN and everyone in Lions Nation want to give a huge shout out to my fellow seniors who were honored this past Monday at the Camden County Best of Class Award Ceremony. Congratulations to Nick Smith, Adam Ramundos, Emma Vinci, Gianna Ludlam, Arabella Otero, Chingus McKnight, and myself, Sabrina Hughes. This is a huge accomplishment and everyone is so proud of you. Great job seniors and congratulations. Yeah, 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 Lions. Your boy, Jeff. And Gino, here to bring you some more Lions birthday shout-outs. This week, we had Olivia Kirshner, Brianna Brockington, Sarah Harding, Russell the Moose Medlar, Christopher Cooper, Umza Bashir, and Nam Nguyen. And over the weekend, we have Ian Angelo, Matthew Angelo, Matthew Carpenter, Addison Brooks, and Alexander Hernandez. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lions. We have the best birthday of your life so far. All right, enjoy the weekend, and until next week, peace. peace. Emma V here with your Lions sports update. The GHS Lions track and field team had a great showing at the South Jersey Track Coaches Association Open with over 15 athletes setting personal bests. Some highlights include our own Ryan Ryry James triple jump of 41 feet and 6 and 3 fourths inches which earned him second place overall and Cameron Harris's 400 meter time of 104.3, which broke Caitlin O'Connor's school record that has stood since 2013. The team's next meet will be tomorrow's Camden County Championships, so best of luck. The Lady Lions softball team earned two huge wins this week, defeating Haddonfield 15 to nothing and Audubon 14 to four. These two wins were total team efforts with multiple different Lady Lions contributing both at the plate and in the field. Please come out and support the team tomorrow night when they take on crosstown rival Gloucester Catholic at 7 p.m. at the Ponytail Fields. The Lions baseball team defeated Glassboro this week 9-0 as Gavin Wiener earned his second no-hitter of the season. Gavin struck out six and also helped himself out at the plate with two hits. Chris Rouge Ruggieri, Gage Myers, John John Daly, and Cody Gardzilic also had two hits for the Lions. All right, that's it for your sports update. Good luck to all of our Lions competing this weekend, and go Lions! What's up, guys? Gino here with another round of jokes, and since this Sunday is Mother's Day, we thought we'd give you some mom-themed jokes to help you smile and maybe even make the, all the wonderful moms out there smile, too. You ready, mothers? Here we go. Did I tell you guys why I chopped my joke book in half? My mom told me to cut the comedy. <laughs> Why do mother kangaroos hate rainy days? Because the kids have to play inside. <laughs> Why was the computer so smart? Because it always listens to its motherboard. <laughs> Alright, one more. And you know I can't let you guys get out of here with at least one of those your mama jokes. Your mama is so short, 
you can see her feet on her driver's license. <laughs> all right, Lions, that's all the jokes I got for this week. Enjoy the weekend, and happy Mother's Day. Gambloni out. As you know, this year's A Walk in the Clouds Junior Senior Prom is scheduled for next Friday, May 19th, from 7 to 11 p.m. at Aletto's Catering in Defford. The promenade will take place in the GHS Auditorium from 5 to 6.30 p.m. We encourage and invite everyone in Lions Nation to come check out all of our junior and seniors as they will be dressed to impress. The promenade is free and open to all. A professional photographer will be in the media center taking photos during the promenade. Picture packets are available in room D7A. Pictures can be paid for online or on the day of prom. Stop and see a junior class advisor, Mrs. Denise Bennett, in room D7A if you have any questions or need more information. And one important reminder for everyone attending this year's prom. You must attend school on Friday, May 19th to be permitted to attend the prom. Students who have tickets to the prom will be dismissed early that day, but you must be here on time that morning. What's up, Lions? Ryan Aiden here with your weekend weather report for the second weekend of May. That's right, Rye. And this weekend, we will see temps in the 70s and a mix of rain and sun. Yup, Saturday is looking pretty cloudy and rainy, but Sunday, the rain will be out of here and sunshine will return. All right, that's going to do it for your weekend weather report. Get outside and enjoy the weekend. And until our next episode, peace, peace out, doggies. All right, Lions, it's going to do it for this episode. Special thanks to all the wonderful staff here at DHS and happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Enjoy the weekend, get outside, and don't blink because there's only three more weekends left of this school year. But be sure to cheer on our Lady Lions softball team tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And as always, go Lions! <laughs>